Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now in this video we're going to be looking at six ways that your story can end and also some character archetypes that usually fill out these stories. Okay so the first thing we'll look at is this article by Masterclass explaining six different ways that you can end your story. The first of the six ways to end a story is a resolved ending. Now a resolved ending leaves the reader or audience with no unresolved questions. A resolved ending leaves the reader with no lingering questions or loose ends. A resolved ending is a very common type of ending to encounter. So you may want to try one of the other endings in order to keep your audience on their toes. Another ending example is an unresolved ending. Now this ending is slightly less common however can be a little bit more exciting. Now an unresolved ending leaves the reader or audience with more questions than answers. Now this can be really exciting for an audience because it allows you to think a bit more about the film you've just watched and start to wonder where the story goes after it's ended. Another type of ending is the expanded ending. Now an expanded ending often takes the form of an epilogue and what it does is it expands the world that the story was told in. Now this usually includes a jump forward in time and usually a shift in perspective. Now writers and directors use this ending to give the audience some information that they might not have been able to give during the main narrative. An unexpected ending, also known as a twist, can be one of the most effective endings to have, if done cleverly and subtly. Now as Masterclass put here, the trick to pulling off a great surprise is that it should seem inevitable in hindsight. The fifth type of ending is an ambiguous ending. Now this ending can be open to interpretation and can allow for two different types of people to interpret the story differently and how it's ended. Now this type of ending requires the most involvement from the reader since they are actively invited to think about the significance of the events in the film. Finally, there is a tied ending. Now a tied ending is one that brings the story full circle and ends where it began. Now what's important to note for this type of ending is that as a writer you need to make sure the journey was worthwhile and the character changed enough so that the audience doesn't feel ripped off that they've ended back where they've started. Now let's look at this Studio Binder article explaining 8 different character archetypes that you can use to fill out these stories. The first archetype is the leader. Now commonly this character is a forceful person of action. They're confident, motivated and brave. Next you have the caregiver. Now the caregiver commonly prioritises the well-being of others over themselves. They want to make the world right, they're kind, generous and supportive. Next you have the seducer. Now this character is commonly charming and a person of charisma. They're confident, persuasive and shy. The fourth archetype is the castaway. Now this character is a bit of a loner and observes the main action from a safe distance. They're devoted, loyal and introspective, but they can often be gullible and emotional. Our fifth archetype is the rebel. Now these are commonly energetic, individualistic and a thrill seeker. They're street smart, capable and brave. Next we have the wild card. Now commonly this character is unpredictable, a person of improvisation and they're often brutally honest, humorous and creative. For our seventh archetype is the Professor. Now this character, as the name suggests, is literal, droll and very often a genius. They're logical, problem solving and candid, but they can often be socially oblivious and rigid. Finally, we have the Warrior. Now the Warrior is commonly courageous, self-sacrificing and a person of honour. They're strong-willed, involved and have a code. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and I recommend that you all take a look at these articles linked in the comment section below as they have some extra information that could be of value to you. For instance, they explain the allies and enemies of each of those archetypes and also give some fascinating real world examples of the endings that I've just explained. 